I'm a professional speaker. I stand up in front of audiences and I challenge and provoke the way they grow and run their businesses. Um, Mike is known as a straight talking business focused professional speaker. Mike helps audiences develop winning sales pipelines that deliver results from core marketing activities. It's business sense. Please welcome Mike Hagen. I'm going to challenge you now, right from the start, to leave at the end of this presentation with a couple of key actions that you're going to go away and take action upon. My objective is to get you to take action in your businesses. This highlights the contact to contract ratio. And what I mean by that, in simple terms, is how many frogs do you have to kiss to win some business? Absolute simplicity, that's what we're all about. How much of this do you have to do to get some cash? Because when you turn a funnel sideways on, it creates an arrow. What we're talking about here is moving from the random spray and pray approach, as I call it, to commitments. I want you to commit to the methods you're going to use. How many of you in the last 12 months have spent money on marketing? Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? So 75% of you didn't plan at the beginning of the year where you were going to spend your marketing money, but you did it anyway. How many of you in the last six months have asked your clients for a referral? Okay, that's less than 50%. When was the last time you did a feedback survey with your clients and asked them how much they loved you? How much they didn't like you? And what you have to do to get more of their business? If that is not part of the strategy for growing your organisation, spending time with the clients that really matter to your organisation, then you're wasting time, effort and money chasing ghosts. I want you to put in two categories into your database that aren't up there before. One is your A1 clients, your premium clients. I want you to segregate them. I want you to take them out of the sort of thousands of names and contacts you've got in there and put them to one side. Yeah. I then want you to put in another category, target premium clients. You can see where this is going. This is simple stuff. I target my business and any client I work with to, to have a minimum of three to five times return on investment on all marketing expenditure. So if it's costing you $25,000 put on that exhibition in man hours, in uh, expenses, in exhibition costs, then you've got to be looking at gaining an additional $100,000 worth of business off the back of that conference. Otherwise, if I am your financial controller, if I'm your commercial director, I will not give you permission to go. People do anything for a jelly baby. Amazing. Just put those out there. But the point, over three, four, five days of that conference, you will get anything between two, three, four, five hundred business cards in that box every day. Great, you've got a database of people that like jelly babies. <laughs> they don't care about your organisation, they're not after what you're doing, they just wanted the jelly baby. You go along there and they turn up and some muppet, excuse the language, but you know what I mean, some absolute who has no idea about networking, comes up and talks at you for 15 minutes. Now I refer to these people as the networking Jack Russell. Because okay. they come up to you, they talk at you, and no matter what you do, you can't shake them off. <laughs> They're horrific. That's an hour a week. That's 50 hours a year. That's a week and a half of man hours wasted at networking events, talking to no-hopers that can't help you in your business. Direct marketing is a complete waste of money, unless you have two things. Perseverance and a good database. If you've got the right database, it is one of the best methodologies because you're going after the right people. You're sending the right information across. It's follow through. If somebody hasn't seen or heard from you for six weeks, they've forgotten who you are. We meet a lot of people. We're a very populated little island. Yeah? Chances of us meeting everybody again is slim. So you have to find a reason to stay in touch. When's your print deadline? And they said, well, oh, next Tuesday at midday. Fine. Ring me at 5 to 12 next Tuesday when you can offer it to me for 150 quid and I'll take it. Ten minutes later, the phone rang. 
Now, this was an organisation I was dealing with in Liverpool. Now, apologies for the poor attempt at the accent. But the, the first line was, is that Dick Turpin? <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, there was a lot of banter with this man from Liverpool, and I got it for 150 quid before the deadline. I'm a professional speaker. I stand up in front of audiences and I challenge and provoke the way they grow and run their businesses. I know if I talk to a hundred people in an audience, I will get another speaking gig or I will get a paid client, a paid consultancy client. Hold on a second, that's better than spending seven and a half thousand pounds on an exhibition that will take seven man days to run, etc, etc. So that's got a big tick next to me. And it works. This is the third time I've heard Mike Pagan deliver this material, and this is the third time I've heard something new that I'm going to take away and, more importantly, apply. Every time I've heard him speak, I've learned something new, and you know what? It makes sense. When I've applied it, it works. I'm Richard Coulter from Spice Adventure Group, and I've just um, listened to Mike, and um, I'm absolutely delighted that there are one or two key things that I can take away and practically implement, which is great. It's been a well, well worthwhile.